Hi everyone, it's Virginia and I'm going to be doing um, MOOCs in K-12 education. So today I'm going to walk through my PowerPoint that I built just for this purpose and I'm going to start with the pros. Um, I think pros for MOOCs would really be the individualized instruction that students can get. Um, students can work at their own speed. They can work whenever, wherever, on whatever. That's a huge bonus, so you're always using students' time, so it's a great time management tool. Um, content is always web-based. That's huge. Um, and it's also great for geographically restricted areas or situations like snow days, ice storms, hurricanes, tropical storms those kinds of issues that could really affect a school day. So some of the cons, um, the individualized instruction um, right down to the student level is lacking. Even though there's individualized instruction, I think the fact for a parent, a teacher to target in is not there. And that being said, it does not target specific student learning styles. It's pretty much one way. Um, cheating is always a possibility. Um, face-to-face -face is limited or totally non-existent. There's no interaction between the student and the teacher or the student-to-student. -student. And there's issues with off-campus access. Um, so for me, MOOCs in a K-5 situation are no-go. Definitely not enough student time um, and interaction. I think most K-5 Students are going to need something more specific, more targeted. Um, they're going to need that interaction with the teacher. Um, for a six through eight, I think it's a possibility. I think certain situations you could use a MOOC. Um, perhaps keyboarding might be a really good way to do a MOOC. Um, maybe a health class, a generic health class might be a way to do that. Study skills might be something you could do in a MOOC six through eight. That would be appropriate. Um, and then finally, for nine through 12, absolutely. I think um, an, an open online class for ninth through 12th graders would be fantastic. And it would be something that would really set them up for college. So we're getting these students to be college and career ready. Yeah. Um, would I wanna be in a MOOC? I'm um, not so sure. I think um, the the numbers up to 3,000 students, I think it would be a nightmare. Um, not a possibility in Northern New York, unless we went to a distance learning course that covered the entire Northern region from Watertown to Plattsburgh, then it's a possibility. Um, is it practical? Not so sure because of Having one teacher in charge of up to 3,000 students, I think that could be a little chaotic. Will some districts try to do it? Absolutely. Of course they will. It'll be a way for them to save money. Do I think it's right? I don't know. I don't know if it's right or wrong. Um, to coin a phrase that we use a lot right now, it is what it is, and I think some districts will try it, and I think there'll be a lot of fighting. But. I think overall for 9th through 12th graders, I think it's a good a good situation that could be used. Um, be great for health. Um, be great for maybe some language for some gifted and, and talented students. But I don't think it's a do-all, be-all, end-all. And I don't think a MOOC is ever going to replace um, the face-to-face -face contact with a teacher. Okay, thanks. Bye.